I had my training at the Long Island Jewish Hospital in New York. It's the biggest speech and hearing center in Long Island. I was a resident in ENT in Irnos and Truth. Audiology, speech and hearing center, that's where uh, audiological uh, examination, hearing dispensing, and others are done. To my surprise, I've not seen this kind of setup in Manila. That was uh, in the 70s. Because I know when I say so, after my graduation, I went around, say, Biluna, say, say uh, military hospital, the big constabulary hospital, USP, my alma mater, the ENT department doesn't have this, just simple test, or maybe it's more of surgical diagnostic approach. I even went to another uh, university and of course PGH. I was looking at the person, where can I send my patient? Comparable to what I was trained, what I get, you know what I mean? Audiological uh, examination to help me in the management and diagnosis of the patient. I was so disappointed because there was nothing. What I did, I, well, I borrowed some capital from my parents and bought the equipment similar to what I saw at the Long Island Jewish Hospital. Actually, it happens to be the first speech and hearing clinic in the Philippines with that caliber equipment. So the ENT community were surprised. May mayroon palang may mga equipment like dito sa Pilipinas, which they read only in the book. So we published a, a booklet informative of what we have Manila Hearing Aid. Manila Hearing Aid, <laughs> yun na hearing aid, but it was speech and hearing more sophisticated and extensive ang coverage ng diagnostic. Very few has attained the level of what we have. It's because we also were providing equipment. Yan ang ano. The problem here is acquisition of equipment, maintenance, at saka costing. Yan ang cost ng equipment. And we were helping out. That's one way to, I mean, to help the hearing impaired to solve their hearing problem. That's our uh, mission. We'll help, not the commercial aspect. Part ng ENT practices, audiology and otology. And that is my subspecialty, otology. You must learn, you must be passionate and more knowledge in audiology. Now, if you think about audiology now and hearing problem, you have to understand hearing aid. We started with um, Oticon, one of the eldest, no, the oldest actually, 1903, so 120 years na yan. Advantage of the two, especially Oticon, it's a foundation, hindi commercial. So you, and ang R&D nila, research and development are the most advanced in this field. It's ang purpose naman really to to help but the FDA regulation actually you must help the amplification needs of the patient that is diagnostic and maintenance yan ang hindi maari yan doctor oh ikaw doctor gagamutin mo lang din din human being you have to take care walang walang ano ano yan walang pili pili that is uh, what you call the our mission to help. So what we're training is this one now. We would like to train up to now. Actually, we help put up College of Audiology Master's Lab sa USD and UP. And we are proud to say, since nanilagayan, they train with us. Kasi everybody's getting old. Hindi ka man, you cannot escape. You cannot escape uh, aging and hearing loss.
yung challenge just was the commercial aspect of some temptation to, you know, the commercialization of this. Well, we presented that this should be a professional, but the government should step in. So what I did, I presented to the USFDA, sundan you read something, you might do something about this. Na gusto namin na ganit, may, there is that profession. O, hindi ka lang merchant na iinom. You want a professional respetuhin ka. Serve the amplification needs of the patient. We will continue na we're always on uh, the watchful development sa hearing aid technology and always comfortable level Yan ang, that's technology sometimes our hearing aid is better than normal ear we will keep on a training na muna and availability of uh, equipments that you don't have to spend much the training in a training that doesn't have to know and then we keep on per simple technology we train them and in ano namin, and dedication mo, you treat this one as patient, as a patient to help the amplification needs. So talagang kailangan nila. Wag lang yung pera na ano, nakuha mo na. Yung ano ba, sales talk, ayaw namin ng no, ganun. You should, you should treat the patient like a patient, may handicap. The second generation now, tatlo ang naka, tatlo ang audiologists uh, um, uh, sa family. Si yung youngest ko, dal, dal, dalawa dalawa ang degrees, um, Master of Science in Audiology and Speech Pathology. Yung isa, diplomate, Australian Diplomat in Audiology, Master of Science in Audiology, dalawang ano, Master of Business Administration. Yung pangatlo ko has, has diplomat in audiology sa Australia, Masters of Science in Audiology Australia, and Doctor of Audiology. Doctor of Optometry, Doctor of Dentistry, Doctor of Paramedical. Ano ba yung pride? That's something that we have to break. Ang, at saka secondly, I think we have to train anybody. Like the, yun sa Juan, ikaw ang pupunta sa pasyente, hindi yung pasyente po punta sa iyo because matatanda yan eh. We have set up uh, dreams with that. Kung baga ano, we want to expand further, help out. Part to ten years siguro, there will be more. Not necessary yung yung physical appearance ng clinic ng Manila hearing aid. Maybe some kind of similar that, but a professional setting. We'll keep on, we will keep on, on it, expanding. They will, we will have to continue. Lumalaki ang population, lumalaki ang matanda, long, longer than life. Pihadong hard of hearing in contributing to the body, long life and noise pollution. The first hearing aid center really that cares, that yung tunay na spirit ng, we call it in the broad term, hearing health provider, a, a, a real hearing health provider. Yun ang magandang na ito, na tawag, hindi dispenser, hearing health provider, or the hearing health provider, tawagin ganun, na very professional. Talang hearing aid talaga, ang pagkabingi ay hindi magagamot ng medicine, hindi magagamot ng surgery, amplification lang o electronic amplification lang. Yun ang treatment. Yun isang iniim namin na talagang servisyo. Yun ang very important part yun eh. We are the biggest supplier of Superior. Probably not sa tingin ko kung malaki na itulong namin. While in dedication sa trabaho, 
you work well the company and we give you everything. Parang mahusay ang team namin when it comes to that. You just cannot pick somebody from the sa, sa kalsada na itatrend mo dyan. Kaya they work hard to technology. Well, pa-follow the, ano, the, the, the very first uh, mission ng company, the second and third, ano ito, bihira ang audiology, sayang. We started it, may andyan na yan eh. Dahil kami yung mga doktor, ENT, yung nakakapasa yung paswerte na mapa in form yung third generation eh. Ay, wala na akong masasabi eh. Kaya, First, meron mo yun, nag-agree, nagpumayag na mag-audiology yung tatlo. And that is concentrated to that business. Mahirap kumbinsan yung mga bata ganyan eh. Ang position namin is I'm still number one sa, sa sales, sa ano ito. So, they must be doing a good job. So, kunin na lang yan. Pero gusto namin, you spread it out. and say, you know, you're doing, please do a good job. We'll just have to continue our mission and God will take care of us.